Ancora a per certe cose. Non lo Accanto un uomo. Che vuoi? Welcome to my channel friends, and in this video, we will talk about the 1998 Italian film, The Second Wife. In the 1960s, a woman from Sicily, Anna, married a truck driver named Fosco. Fosco was older than her, and his first wife died. Anna is also a single mother, and now her daughter was about to get a family. But Fosco's friends and acquaintances were talking about Anna and Fosco. But among all those people, Fosco's son, Livio, was suffering the most from Fosco's second marriage. On the wedding night, when Fosco was about to go to Paris for his honeymoon with Anna, Fosco's friend suddenly came and asked him to come with him. Without thinking twice, Fosco went with him. After waiting for him for many hours, when Anna realized that he had come back home, she found out that Livio had come to the house instead of Fosco. Fosco and his friends had gone to steal some antique statues. But after a while, the police came there. And to escape them, they had to run away from there. And to hide from them, they had to spend the whole night there. A girl named Stella likes Livio, but his friends make fun of her. But Livio doesn't like this. He only pays attention to what the villagers say, because they only talks about Fosco and Anna, and Livio gets hurt by listening to them. After a few days, they both came back from their honeymoon. And after many days, Anna was happy to meet her daughter Santina. But Fosco has some habits that Anna doesn't understand. And she told this to Fosco's sister. Livio's relationship with his father is not good, because he always calls him and her mother weak, and forces him to do double work, which is not even necessary. Seeing Fosco's behavior towards Livio, Anna told him that he shouldn't behave badly with his son in front of everyone. But Fosco didn't listen to her, and he said that he is neither Livio's lawyer nor his mother. That's why she shouldn't think about all this. The next morning, Fosco went to the city for three days to deliver some goods. And then Anna saw Stella. Looking at her, she got scared. Seeing Santina happy with Livio that day, Anna realized that Livio is completely different from his father. And Santina likes to live with him. When Fosco came back, he took Santina and Anna to a restaurant. In that restaurant, he realized that every man there has an eye on Anna. But he didn't know that Livio also likes Anna. Livio is a sensitive boy who believes in things like love. On the other hand, Fosco is a man who has nothing to do with feelings, and he talks such obscene things in front of others that no one likes to hear. Livio and his uncle both know that Fosco's purpose in marrying Anna is to show off in front of other men, and they also know that Anna is not like Fosco. She just wants love and is an innocent woman. One night while stealing, Fosco and his friends found an expensive antique piece. They were very happy to get that piece because they can get a lot of money in return. But the next day, while hiding it in the truck, Santina brought her friends there. And she said that she wants to show them the antique piece. Fosco was angry with this because he didn't want anyone to know about it. And he vented his anger on Anna. Livio then told him that everyone knows about his work. And this work is shameful. They had an argument about this. And Fosco said bad things about Livio again. Anna wanted Fosco to be a good father. So she asked Fosco to take Livio to work with him, but Fosco refused to do this. Fosco went away from there for a few days to smuggle the antique pieces. And then Livio started trying to know more about Anna, and they both became friends. One day, because of the hot weather, everyone started playing in the water. And in the game, Livio and Anna started coming close to each other. Anna was upset to see other women near Livio, but she couldn't say anything to her. Day by day, Livio was getting closer to Santina and Anna, and Santina had decided that she would grow up and marry Livio. Everything was going well. But one day, Anna found out that Fosco had been arrested for smuggling antiques. She said that he would be released in three to four days. But Livio knew that nothing like this was going to happen. Anna asked for help from Fosco's companions, but they said that they couldn't do anything about it. And after many days, Fosco remained in jail where he started fighting. Anna was upset to see his condition, but when Fosco saw her crying, he started yelling at her, and he said that if she comes there, she should wear nice clothes and make her happy. Hearing this, she started crying, but it didn't make any difference to Fosco. When Anna came back home, she saw that only she was upset that Fosco is in the jail, and the rest of the people were having fun at Livio's birthday party. She was very upset about this, and Livio went to her to calm her down. Then Livio realized that Anna was upset about something else. After the party at night, 
Anna came to help Livio clean up. And then Livio's uncle came there, whose mental condition was not good. He told his wife that he was the one who sent Fosco to jail. And he did all this for Livio. But no one can believe what he says. Because his words are not true. And he says such things and does such things that he has been declared crazy. That's why Livio was afraid that he was like his uncle. And soon he would lose his mental balance. The next day, Anna realized that Livio loved her. And she also started loving Livio. But she knew that this relationship was not right. She wanted to forget this and move on. And wanted to stay away from Livio. But Livio did not agree to this. And one night he slept outside Anna's room. When Anna found out this in the morning, she explained to Livio that he could not bother her like this. But still, Livio started trying to get Anna every day. And he also used Santina in this. After doing this, Anna told him that until Fosco comes home, he will have to stay at his relative's house. And Livio was happy to hear this. Because he understood that Anna also loves him. But she is stopping herself. That night, Livio and his friends stole alcohol and games. And they took them to the beach. After a while, Livio got drunk and went away from there, and came back to his house, while Anna had forbidden him to come there. He forcefully entered the house, and he got a head injury. Anna started taking care of him, but he started acting crazy like his uncle in anger, and he started telling Anna that he loves her. Seeing him, Anna could not stop herself, and she asked him to stay there. After that, she told Livio that she also loves him. The next morning, she went to meet Fosco who started crying in front of her, saying that he could never be a good father. And Anna started feeling bad seeing him. When she came back home with Livio, she felt that there was someone else around her, and Livio found out that Stella had seen them together. Anna was worried about this, but Livio told her that Stella is a crazy girl in the eyes of the villagers, and no one will believe her. They were still happy to be together. But then one day a storm came. And with the storm, a news came that bothered them. Anna got the news that the next day Fosco was going to be released from jail and come back home. And then she told Fosco's sister all the truth about herself and Livio. She regretted her actions. And she wanted to tell Fosco all the truth. But Fosco's sister clearly stopped her from doing this. Because she didn't want Fosco to be embarrassed like this. And it is better for Fosco to hide all these things from him. Everyone was happy from Fosco's come back in the house except for three people, because all three people were worried. But he was unaware of all this and was celebrating his freedom. In the joy of his freedom, in the intoxication of alcohol, when he went to the beach, he met Stella, who told him all the truth about Anna and Livio. After knowing the truth, he was drunk all night. And then he was taken home. He didn't want to talk to anyone about this. But Livio understood that Fosco knows all the truth. And that's why he left Anna and went away from that house. In the end, after a few years, everyone forgot everything and moved on in life. And Livio got married to a girl named Antonella from a good family. But Anna and Livio still loved each other. And Fosco knew this too. On that note movie ends. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked this video, then do like, share and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.